For six years now, George W. Bush has had a rubber stamp Republican Congress. For instance, recently when the Senate Judiciary Committee held a hearing on the FISA Domestic Spying Act, the committee decided that the president doesn't have to follow the law. We bloggers wanted to help. So we shipped 1,077 stamps to Washington, D.C. so I could go into the Senate and give them personally to Senator Arlen Specter, Chairman of the Judiciary Committee. With these stamps, Senators can agree with the President even faster, which means that he can protect us even more. It's really a win-win. So we're going to go into the Senate, take a look around, and give these stamps personally to Arlen Specter. I already feel safer. The Senate is a very modern institution. It has its own subway system, modern art, tennis courts, it even has women's bathrooms. Adorable. The Senate actually has an elevator for senators only. Now we have to take the elevator reserved for the little people. I'm heading to Spectre's office now. I'm just passing by. Hi. I have a question. All right, we can't have like, Senator... cameras in here. Can you turn that off? Okay, it's not rolling. Um, I have a gift basket of rubber stamps for Senator Specter that I would um, appreciate if you Where's would deliver. Where's the red light on? I'm sorry? Where's the red light on? Uh, I'll, I'll turn on. Can you walk out there with the camera then, please? I'm sorry. They say rubber stamp Republican One Congress. Moment, okay. As I walked away from the halls of justice, I realized that all of us can relax knowing that Arlen Specter finally has the rubber stamps he needs to do his job.